Despite like we had just had winter break, how do you think like your players played in relation to that? Do you think that slowed them down? No, well, I mean we we were active all all winter break. Uh, you know, I thought we were aggressive and, and more crisp in our execution in the first half. Second half, uh, uh, I don't know. We just we weren't as sharp uh, offensively and defensively. We didn't, you know, we, we would play defense for long stretches of time, but then we wouldn't get the block out needed to get the defense rebound. So we gave them a lot of opportunities. We, we fouled a lot, which gave them a lot of opportunities for the free throw line. And uh, you know, we were fortunate to hang on, hang on to win. But uh, you know, thank God there weren't. Uh, 30 more seconds on the clock. Free throws were an issue for you guys today. Make a lot free throws were an issue. Free throws were an issue. And, uh, you know, we had a few issues in the second half. But, uh, you know, things that uh, are correctable, uh, uh, hopefully correctable, things we address, things we talk about. Uh, we allowed a little bit too much drill penetration in the, uh, in the second half. Uh, you know, we did a good job on 23, made him work for a lot of things. Uh, but I think some of our help side defenders were so focused on him, they lost sight of where the ball was, and uh, that's allowed a lot of uh, a lot of avenues to the basket. So, uh, you know, a little disappointed in that regard in the second half. But uh, you know, we'll take it. Uh, now it's time to uh, you know we just got to keep getting better. You know, it's, it's things that uh, we'll watch tape tomorrow and uh, address it and get better and get ready for our league opener next Wednesday against England. Um, talk about Jordan's performance. He had 17 points in that first half, and it seemed like they shut him down in the second. Yeah, they did. Uh, you know, obviously he's a guy that, that people are going to be aware of. He was aggressive, you know, in the first half, second half. I think he got a little frustrated at times. Uh, I think he attacked the basket, thought he got fouled, but didn't call it. And he's, you know, he has to learn to play through that. He will. He will. He stepped up into big free throws for us in the, uh, in the fourth quarter, and uh, um, you know, we just got to keep plugging away and. Uh, you know, other guys, we got to be able to spread the floor and, and understand that when you know where where opportunities exist for other guys, when teams do uh, do pay a lot of attention to him, kind of like what we are doing to their 23. Uh, you know, and, and other guys on their team are able to take advantage of that. Yeah, this seemed like absolutely the opposite of what you're always worried about. You didn't have a slow start. Um, you've been playing consistent in the Oaks Christians tournament, and you didn't, at least in the second half. <laughs> Yeah, when you put your emotional state in the hands of 14 to 17 year old young man, you know these things. <laughs> I don't, you know, it's you're absolutely right, and it's uh, 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 you know consistency is something I think you and I talked about from the start of the season, yeah. and uh, it's something that you and I may talk about all year. I don't know, but uh, uh, it's something we address, and we just gotta keep plugging away. I, I'd rather lose ugly than win. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'd rather win ugly than lose pretty. Or I'll say that again in case you edit. I'd rather win ugly than lose pretty. Uh, it was a it was a grinded out. The difference between the two halves, I felt, in the in the second half, Redondo made us grind it out on the half court. And we're in the first half, we got a lot of transition opportunities that we capitalized on. So uh, we got to get better and understand that when things opportunities like that are taken away in terms of transition offense, you know, it's okay. We still have the ball. We're still in control. We still have 35 seconds on which to uh, capitalize. So. Um, I got two more questions. Once okay, you guys have a ticket. Um, Thank you, man. How's Trey's ankle? How do you think it affected his performance? Uh, I don't think it's 100%. Uh, <clears throat> hurts him a little bit when he, that's kind of his push-off leg. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he got it out, played through it, and uh, I give him a lot of credit. You know, it's, it's definitely better than it was last last week. Not 100%, but uh, not at a point where it, he's, you know, we're putting him in any type of jeopardy. So. Uh, he'll continue to, to, to treat it, and uh, we'll consider to monitor it and we'll see what happens. Uh, my last question. Your schedule doesn't get any easier the next week coming up. you got Inglewood at home. you go face rival Culver City, and then you got Sarah in the MLK Classic. Absolutely. I think uh, our schedule is one of the toughest schedules, I think, around. Uh, you look at who we played in, in before this, you know, with uh, uh, Long Beach Poly, uh, played at Wanda, played Sacramento. Played uh, Harbor Westlake. Played, uh, uh, you know, I don't want to win. Work, you know, we just we we played a lot of good quality. We played very good uh, competition, and we feel to be the best, you got to play the best. And uh, how you do in league determines how you do in the playoffs. Uh, on where you get where you go in the playoffs, and uh, hopefully strength of schedule play will prepare us for uh, not only league play but CIF playoff action.